the brand new two front wheel Easy Transit e trike from 630. Stick around to see it. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to introduce you to the two front wheel Easy Transit foldable e-trike from 630. Now this is a brand new foldable electric tricycle that has tilting front wheels so it's easy to steer, can st steer on a dime and turn on a dime. I'm gonna introduce you to all the components and the specs, and then I'm gonna demonstrate some videos, take you through some cones, take you uphill, and show you the full spectrum of how this two front wheel electric trike can perform. Now, let me walk you through everything. So first of all, it's an electric trike. It has five level levels of pedal assist, and it also has a throttle up here. You also have reverse on this e-trike, so if you want to go in reverse at any point, you can do that as well. You toggle between a switch up here, drive and reverse. All right, so let me walk you through all the specs and the features of this two front wheel easy transit trike. Now, this is a 750 watt rear hub motor. You've got your 750 watt rear hub motor right here. And it's got a 10.4 amp hour battery. So. Top speed is gonna be limited to 16 miles an hour and your range is gonna be up to 50 miles an hour depending on how you use the pedal assist, the throttle, also the weight of the rider and the terrain are gonna impact your range. So like I said, you have five levels of pedal assist which are located uh, right here. So you hold the power button down. What this means is your motor can assist you levels one to five one being the least amount of assistance, five being the most. So when you pedal, the motor will kick in if you have it set in one of these uh, levels of pedal assist. Now you also have a thumb throttle here. Now the thumb throttle works just like a gas pedal in a car. The harder you push it, the more acceleration you will get. So if you ever use a thumb throttle or a twist throttle, you don't wanna just go real fast, push it all the way. You would just ease into it, give it a little bit of power. Okay, I'm gonna turn this power off really quick. Now you also have drive and reverse. So you have a reverse option on this three-wheel e-trike. If you should want to use that, you can go backwards. Okay, really cool other feature is you have a front headlight here as well. I can go ahead and hold down my up button and you can see the light comes on. and I can go ahead and hold this down and now turn it off. All right, and I can turn the power off. Now this uh, two front wheel trike also has seven speeds right here. Now these seven speeds operate independently of the motor, but they work together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First gear would be for hills, seven speeds would be for flat ground, really trying to achieve high speed. Now. The way they work independently is the gears have nothing to do with gears in the motor. Uh, what I explained to you, the pedal assist is how the assistance works of the motor. But if you're in level five of the pedal assist, you'd wanna be in level or gear seven of the bike to make sure you can match the cadence of your pedaling to the power output. If you're getting a lot of power from the pedal assist, you don't wanna have the bike in a low gear because you'll be spinning your feet and not, um, not powering the bike equal to how much assistance you're getting from the motor. Now, one of the really cool features of this Easy Transit two front wheel is how low it is to the ground. So the seat right now is in the lowest position and the top of the seat is 30 inches off the ground. So the mounting and dismounting, actually I can bring this down just a touch more. There we go, to drop it to 30 and you can see 30 inches. So getting on and off of this seat is very, very easy. Um, in addition, while I have it up, is the step over height, which is just about 11 inches. So you have 11 inches of step over. You also have a very big gap here of 22 inches, which makes it easy to step through, okay? In addition to that, you've got a rear 20 inch tire and two 
front 16 inch tires, which are both 2.25 inches wide. Now we have the higher tire in the rear to set the bike down to put more weight on the two front wheels to add to the stability. We wanted the smaller wheels in the front to be able to keep the frame lower to the ground to make the mounting and dismounting very easy and simple. I also have a basket here, which is an option, can be added on. And if you see in the front here, there's four bolts where the basket would mount on right here. So you would just remove those and mount your basket on if you wanna transport items on your rides. Now I actually skipped over one thing here with the seat. Let's go ahead and show you how high up the seat actually can go. So that's the marking of the seat right here. And now we can loosen this and bring the seat up all the way to this high. Now this is a little bit extreme, but you can see big difference from the lowest point. So in the highest point, we can get the seat all the way up to 40, yeah, just about 40, 44 inches. So uh, it's 14 inches of distance we can get here. Now I wouldn't advise of having it quite this high. I would bring it down to a more reasonable level, but you can see this trike can accommodate both short and tall riders quite nicely. Now, if you see here, the handlebars are very low right now as well. These can actually be adjusted too. And there's also a marker right there. Now you can bring them all the way up. And we have these mini ape hanger handlebars, which are really cool. I've got them tilted into the rider's body right now. You can tilt them away. So if you're taller, you have longer arms, you can tilt them back. Uh, you can also raise it up here. And I've done another video taking all the specs and all the measurements. So if you wanna reference that video, you can find out more as well. But right here, you get four inches of travel on the handlebars. So, and it's quick release. So you can bring it down or you can bring it up, totally up to you, okay? So this can accommodate riders from about 4'11 all the way up to six foot four. Check your inseam if you wanna confirm um, the mounting height to get on and off, uh, what will work for you. Okay, now what else can I show you? Okay, really cool feature here is that it's also a foldable trike. So I can actually fold up my pedals right here and right here in the middle of the frame is your folding mechanism. So I can unlock this, pull this up, and from here the bike easily folds in half, okay? And then there, oops, let me just position my pedals like that. And now from here, I fold it in half, and I can set that down. There's a little block under here that I can rest on. Now the handlebars fold down as well, okay? Gotta, we have to uh, make our handlebars compact. They're down all the way, there we go. And from there it folds down. And again, if you wanna reference all the specs and measurements, you can check them out on our website, 630.com, or this is gonna be linked in the description below if you wanna take a look at it. So there it is, completely folded down. Now we can take the seat out as well, and from there, you have a very compact foldable e-trike. Uh, there's gonna be another video on our YouTube channel as well showing how this can fit in the back of a hatchback car as well. And getting it back together is pretty simple, okay? And this e-trike, so now this e-trike weighs 68 pounds, but the battery is eight pounds. So you can remove the battery, take the weight down to 60 pounds, the seat weighs two pounds, so now you're down to 58 pounds, which makes it a little bit easier to load and unload into the car. Removing the battery is pretty simple. You just turn the key like so, and the battery comes out. There we go, turn the key the wrong way. 
And so from there now, gonna be much easier to lift and get it into the back of a car. I can show you like that, nice and easy. It'd be a little less awkward if I took the seat off actually. Um, but again, you can reference the other video to see exactly how that goes. And then getting the battery back in is quite simple. Just put it in like that, push down. Oops. Let's see, I gotta move my quick release. There we go. Okay. And we're in and you can lock it and remove your key. I'm gonna leave it in there so we don't lose it. Okay. Okay, now folding it or unfolding it, I should say. Okay. Oops, let me just turn these. Let me actually, <laughs> there we go. Okay, get those away from the seat. Now from here, you just put your clamp up. There we go, like that. Okay. Now you need to pull this mechanism up and then that clicks into place. And then that locks in like so. And your pedal is actually very easy. You just pull this back out, that pops into place. And now it's completely unfolded. And from here, I would put these back to where I'd like them a little bit higher up. Let's see, there we go. Now, you'll notice on this trike, we have a kickstand. Now, it can actually balance without the kickstand. So if you see here, you can see that it does balance without the kickstand, but it would not balance if it gets pushed in a direction because it has the tilting front wheel. So I'm gonna put the kickstand down, okay? So this is the kind of trike that is more nimble. It's going to take turns very balanced, much different than a rear wheel um, trike, two rear wheel trike. Now, on a two rear wheel trike, you can sit on it and it balances. On this one, you cannot just sit here and have it balance. So this is sort of for, in terms of balance, when you're riding, you're going to get great balance out of the trike, okay? But as I'm sitting here right now, it's not going to balance on its own. And this is because of the steering mechanism that tilts when you turn. So it's a little bit difficult to explain, but you'll see me ride when I go for a ride, which is that these help with balance but they're not going to completely balance you. So if you're someone that's in between a trike and a two wheel bike and you want some assistance, this is a really good option. If you just like having the wheels for extra balance um, and you want something that can be a little zippier and a little more nimble than say a three wheel trike with two wheels in the back. But you can see here that I can't balance just by standing here. Now you have your kickstand which you could lean on that if you were a little bit less weight than me. Oops, got my pants pocket here. <laughs> but you can come up here and take a look at the steering mechanism. So both wheels actually move in unison. So if you turn this way, they turn together. They don't move up and down, okay? They tilt side to side. So when you turn, it's not only going to turn, it's going to lean, okay? It's a very nimble mechanism that steers really, really sharply. Um, and it's very balanced, but again, it's just not the same as a three, uh, th as a trike with two wheels in the rear in that you can't sit on an imbalance. So the key to this is once you get moving, I'll just show you really quickly. Once you get moving, so yeah, I pretty much can balance, but I can't just sit here. So then from here, you can get going and you can see it's quite easy to balance even at slow speeds. 
I'm gonna put my helmet on and give you a full demonstration now of exactly how it works. And we'll take you on a little bit of a ride along with us also. All right, got some cones set up here. Just wanna show you the versatility. You're gonna be looking back from behind me as well. You're gonna see how the, uh, the tires work and turn and lean. And this thing is really fun to ride and it's just so easy to turn. All right, here we go. And I'm just using the throttle to navigate right now. There we have it. Okay. Here we go. I have to remember it's narrow in the back. And you can see my front wheels leaning. Okay, I'm gonna zip around one more time. This is, this trike is very nimble. because it doesn't ride like a trike typically rides. So because the wheels tilt, you can actually lean with it a little bit more. And once you get the feel for it though, it's like you're in the slalom. I didn't even really break that time. So if you see me coming straight on too, you can see how it leans and navigates and it just is so, it's so smooth. Now without the cone, so you can see like this. Now that's what you wouldn't get on a two rear wheel trike. And um, it just makes the steering and the handling very, very precision and easy to, to turn. Now I'm just going to go on a little ride up a hill, take you with us, and you can see um, how it rides there on the street. I'll go up some curbs and do some other stuff also. All right, take you on a little ride. One other thing I forgot to mention is we have front and rear disc brakes. Uh, you have two discs on the front, so a disc on each front wheel and a disc on the back. And I'm going to start out with the throttle. I like that. So let's just go ahead and get going. So you can see how easy it is for me to take turns. I can go up and down curbs. Um, I'll just show you a little more right here. So as an example, here's the... Now one difference with this trike, like I said, is it does require steering. On a rear two wheel without the tilting, you don't really need to steer in the sense that it'll go straight. This one, you actually have to hold the handlebars and decide, you know, you have to keep it straight um, because it will lean in either direction, but it's so nimble. Okay, uh, I just want to show too. So 
there's parking brakes on both brakes. And you can see, I don't have the kickstand down. The kickstand's right here, I have it up. So we can get this to balance without the kickstand. And then I can put the brakes in and it can balance on its own. So it does balance on its own, but if you tilt it, it's gonna go over because of how the wheels tilt and move. So, aware of. Okay, now let me just take you on a little demo. I'm gonna see what my top speed is in level five. All right, so I hit 16. Now I'd recommend um, staying a little slower than 16 miles an hour, um, but you still have good handling and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Another thing is with turning, while you do have the lean, you have to get used to how much lean you actually have, um, but you can still see the amount of leaning and turning I can do on this trike is pretty unbelievable. Because on a three with two wheels in the back, you can't get nearly that sort of versatility in steering. So really, really cool, a lot of fun. Um, we'll take it back to the beginning and uh, recap our ride. All right, so this is the two front wheel Easy Transit folding e trike, 750 watt. Walked you through all the specs. We took you on a ride. This thing is a lot of fun. It's so nimble, much different than a trike with two wheels in the back. A lot more versatility, rides differently, a little more sporty. So if you have okay balance, just looking for a little extra balance in the front, but you're still okay to steer, is a really, really cool and great option. Now, if you have any other questions at all, please contact us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And don't forget, we have a 30-day test ride your e-trike policy. If you don't love it the first 30 days, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. We're also going to warranty everything for the first year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of arts and labor to ensure you can keep riding. And lastly, join our Facebook group called 630 Peddlers. There's thousands of members in there. You can jump into the group, ask existing members questions about their e-trikes and e-bikes. You can get comfortable in advance of purchasing. And then once you have your e-trike, post in the group, make friends. It's so much fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.